when you're doing community-based research, uh, be prepared for the unexpected. <laughs> uh, so you're going to have to, like I say, think on your feet. And um, the key way to deal with that is uh, pay attention, listen, watch body language, figuring out what people are saying and maybe what they're not saying and follow up afterwards with an, an email that says, hey, this is what I heard from our conversation. Does that fit with your understanding? Um, check what you're what you're hearing so that uh, you're on the same you're you're on the same path with your community partners so I think I would always you know encourage that a research endeavor be scaled appropriately um, you know primary research is always uh, really exciting and it's a, it's a really fun process um, but sometimes I think you know our, our, our student experiences don't offer the time frame necessary for that so I think I would just I would be realistic about timelines um, to, to scale something appropriately and know that you know your intervention in a community uh, comes at a particular place in time and there were people that came before you and there will be people that come after you uh, and so just know that everything doesn't rely on your one project and, and, and think about how your project can fit in um, to that bigger kind of organics of, of community life um, so that you're not disappointed you know when you wrap up uh, and realize all of these unanswered questions but but rather see that as a contribution to a much longer conversation. Me, I think preparation is key and um, I also think we need to tell students to you know to flag us when there are problems to not let that develop and fester but to you know to reach out and let us know and and we can you know discuss that and, and perhaps try to align them to um, you know certain strategies that will make it a more effective placement.